guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you've all been fantastic and had an amazing break over the Christmas and the New Year. So let's get straight into it. We are sectioning off the front row of hair. This is what we're gonna do a bit of a design with, but for now, let's just get it out of the way, shall we? It's time to slick the hair back into a low ponytail. You can use whatever hair product you want. This is all I've got at the moment, so this is what I'm using. And I like to use my teasing comb to slick it down because I find it tames the flyaways really well. And now that the teasing comb has smoothed everything out, I switch over to just a regular fine tooth comb and I really drag it quite forcefully through the hair and I find that removes any little lumps or bumps that might be left there. Then I like to go in with a double hair tie, so pop two on at the same time, it's just gonna hold a bit better. And have a quick look by using another mirror to make sure that everything's looking all good at the back. And now it's time to work on the detailing design at the front of the hair. I'm just choosing a section and with this I'm actually going to plait it. I was going to make curls over the face but plaits actually hold better. So I'm using this coconut cream, it's a curling lotion um, and I'm uh, really getting this into the hair, this kind of changed some flyaways and it is going to work as a bit of a holding agent. If you had hair gel, that would probably work better. So now I'm just plaiting it all the way down and then securing it at the bottom with a tiny hair elastic. Okay, so now that that hair tie is all secure, we are just having a good look up close. I can see that I've got quite a few baby hairs. I should have tamed those beforehand. So I'm just securing those with some hairspray and really trying to make it look as neat as possible. And now we're going into the design of the plait. So I do want to kind of do them as loops or swirls across the face. And because I'm not 100% set on exactly how they're going to sit, I just use these French pins. They work best because you can mold the hair a little bit better and you can remove them easier. So I'm feeding them through the center of the plait and then trying to tuck them under to conceal them as best as possible. I mean, you are going to see them up close, um, but I can get to what to do next if you do want to hide them even better. So now I've just got this little tail, which is giving me absolute grief. So I thought I'll get the hairdryer out and try and glue it down with that hairspray hairdryer technique that Rachel Plass spoke about in one of my most recent videos. But it's just giving me grief and it's not sitting down. So I'm just like, stop it, I'll move on to that later. So now I'm pretty much moving on to do the exact same thing again. I've learnt from my mistakes. I'm taming the baby hairs before I section and plait. Um, so I'm just gonna fast forward this because you've pretty much seen me do it already. And with this section, I want it to drape over the face a little bit more. So taking it straight back, it's actually the perfect length just to do one swoop. So I'm just using two of the French pins to hold it in place. I cannot see a freaking thing. I'm just going by feel. Obviously, if I was actually doing a dance competition and not just making this video, I'd probably have someone helping me uh, put the pins in place so it doesn't look too messy. But you guys get the gist of how it needs to be done. And again, repeating the same thing with the plait. I'm just giving this section one last spray and really slicking it all together before I put it in place. This is actually sitting quite nicely, just repeating and sweeping it around with what I did with the previous one and pinning it in place. So just reassessing this hairstyle, I'm not liking how this uh, swoop is sitting up the top here. So I'm just removing the pins. I like how the first part of it is, but I just need to do something with this second part. So just having a play around. So what I've done here is I've looped it around into the second plait and I'm gonna try and tuck it under and see if that conceals the tail a little bit better. So these French pins are way too long, they're kind of sticking out. So what I'm doing is 
uh, bending the sides back. This creates a bit of a hook pin and it also cuts the pin size in half. So that kind of sits a little bit better. And just pinning where the hair tie, the hair elastic is into the base of the second plait and then it's gonna sit really nicely. The design is now complete. I'm pretty happy with how it's looking. So it's just time to neaten it up and tame flyaways. I'm just using lots and lots of hairspray for this and the back of a bobby pin. So now I'm getting my hair dryer on a low warm setting and I'm just using this to really set everything in place. It just kind of grips the hairspray even better. You can use a little bit of glue to do um, little points under the hair and glue it down to your forehead if you feel like you need to do that. It is a good idea as well. But yeah, just making it super neat. And you're probably wondering with this makeup, yes, of course I filmed it. It will be up next Friday night. So stay tuned for that. Now I'm moving on to the bun. You guys know the drill. I'm just basically doing it how I always do my buns because I have quite short, thin hair. So I need to tease it to get that volume. And because I have all the pins to the left side of my hair that are quite exposed, I'm gonna style and shape the bun so it goes from the center where my ponytail is up around and curves to the left side and it covers the pins at the side. For this bun, I've just got a regular bun net and I'm using the French pins again to shape it and make sure I'm happy with it. Once you're happy with it, then you can go in with regular bobby pins because obviously they are going to hold a bit better. And have a good look in the mirror. So now I need to get these little baby hairs at the nape of my neck. That's one of my pet peeves. So just make sure they're nice and slick and use your hair dryer to set them in place. Another good look in the mirror and make sure there are no bobby pins sticking up because that is not a good look either. If it doesn't want to go in, take it out and put a different one in. We ain't got time to mess around. So just make sure you're happy with it. Give it one last hairspray and set down with the hairdryer. And that brings me to the end of this tutorial. I hope you guys loved it. I'm really happy with how it turned out. Please let me know if you recreate this look by hashtagging me and tagging me on Instagram, Rachel McIntosh MUA. I'd love to see your recreations. I will see you next Friday night with this makeup tutorial. And thank you all so much for watching. Bye.